Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host, Chris. Today I have the Neanderthal by Roma Craft Tabac. Um, this is an interesting shaped cigar for a couple reasons. It's a 5x52 Figurato, and the reason why it's a Figurato is because it's 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 not the same width at the bottom as it is the top. So it's 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 not a um, perfecto by any means, and it's not a straight robusto. Just a little odd shape, and but this is different too. Really flat top. I did a punch cut there, which kind of cracked the top, the cap a little bit there. We'll see if that causes a problem. It looks like the cap just wants to completely come off, but um, with the cold draw, it's a good draw and that cap's not coming off. Let's see if it stays that way. It's uh, spicy for sure. Got a really nice flavor there. Smells a little barnyardy, <laughs> which is a nice way of saying uh, manure. Okay. So I didn't know much about this when I got it and I want to mention uh, a buddy back in Philadelphia, Ellis for uh, sending this to me. He sent me a whole bunch of really nice ones right around Christmas, so this is about two months old. It's rated at full strength, which a couple things I read about it, it sounds strong. Like I said, I got it for free, but you can get it at Famous Smoke Shop for, well, I don't know if they sell single sticks, but they have boxes of 50, and the price breaks down to about 11 bucks a piece. So, not cheap but strong there we go get a decent draw there now rapper san andreas not sure if this is Maduro or natural. It looks more natural to me than the Maduro. Binders Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. Fillers Pennsylvania Double Harrow. And some Nicaraguan Dominican filler made in Nicaragua. Famous Cigar Shop has this as its description. Neanderthal cigars are a flat cap pyramids rolled in your choice of Mexican San Andreas natural or Maduro wrappers. This boutique cigar not only shares the stage with its Crow Magnum cigar cousin, its intense potency comes from a Pennsylvania double Lajero filler leaf with two to three times the nicotine level found in a steadily grown Lajero. In other words, they're not for the squeamish. That said, they bring some awesome complexity and balance to the table. If you love high octane smokes, fill up your cart now. It smells like it could be a potentially strong cigar. Pretty uh, understated band, just a little Neanderthal Aroma Craft logo there. I'm not sure which. No words. I don't think I've ever smoked a cigar of this expanding shape towards the end. I like the 52 ring gauge, and then it flares out there to about 58. Definitely never seen a flat cap like that. So, it, I've read a couple reviews, and they, they mentioned about cutting it, being very careful not to cut too much. That's why I went with the punch cut, and the draw is fine. So we'll see how this one goes. As you may or may not know, San Andreas is one of my favorite rappers. Tons of strength is not necessarily my wheelhouse. Very nice smell. Mmm. Mouthwatering almost. All right, well. Good start. Little uneven burn. Draw could be better. It's, it's it's decent for 
what little was taken off there. So let's keep going, see what happens. I'm about uh, 40 minutes into this Neanderthal by Romacraft. The uh, cap definitely wants to come off. Unfortunately, it's not just a cap. It, it's connected to the leaf that wraps around, so I can't just pull it off. But it's, it's performing very well. Um, that ash is one of the tightest ashes I've seen in a long time. So that must be extremely well constructed in there. That is just solid, one of the more solid, tight ashes I've seen, maybe ever. Um, it did fall off one big chunk there at the beginning, but this one here is holding on. Now saying that, it'll probably land on my lap. Um, it's burning great. The, the draw is perfect. The only, the only downside of the draw is just because of how it's kind of cracking crack there and a little air leakage. But overall, though, it's, it's drawing really nice, putting off good smoke. Um, I wouldn't say it's a flavor bomb, although I can tell the strength is coming on. I'm only halfway in, so this is going to be strong, I can tell. Although it's getting a little narrower now, so there'll be a little less tobacco in there to, to whoop me. But uh, overall, I'm liking this so far. Let's keep going. Well, I'm going to wrap up this review of this Neanderthal by Roma Craft to back. This is an hour and 53 minutes. Granted, I was chit-chatting during that, so... But either way, the best part about it, never needed a relight or a touch-up. Now, granted, towards the end here, it's not putting off as much smoke. It's not drawn as much. It's, it's kind of pretty much done. A lot of times it will happen when you get towards the end, it'll harden up in this area here. Maybe it's tar build up or, or whatever, but it uh, starts getting a little tougher. A lot of the flavors sometimes people say aren't as good in the final little inch here or less. But let's uh, get to it. Uh, appearance wise, at the, right before this could you saw a picture of the band and uh, made by Cigar Rings in uh, Santiago, Dominican Republic, which I uh, visited recently. If you look really hard on the far left side, I think it is, you can see it says Cigar Rings, so you, they even put their name on it, which I don't think I've ever seen their name on any bands. But anyway, uh, it's two bands, as it turns out. I thought it was only one. And the in, inner band, the white band, I thought it was just a plain white band. I was just going to toss it because it's not, I didn't think it was anything worth keeping for the collection. But as it turns out, if you look at the picture, and I enhance it a little bit, you can see it's got uh, Neanderthal from ape to human. It's pretty cool, actually. Very, very hard to see with my eyes but it's there and then on the uh, the colored part the orangish brownish part it actually does say Neanderthal so that was cool um, but the appearance of cigar is definitely different with the expanding dimensions going outward um, cool cigar different cap for sure I'm not getting a lot right now but uh, burn and aroma was was really good burn was almost completely razor sharp. I did a little touch up just recently just to even it out, but it was pretty even by itself. Aroma is really nice. I did a uh, retro. It was smooth, no problem, even though there's a lot of Lajero in there. Flavor, I wouldn't call it a flavor bomb. There's strength in it for sure. It's a different kind of strength. It's not hitting me as hard as some full strengths have. It's getting me a little more in the head. Uh, sometimes you get in the chest. Sometimes you feel a little lightheaded. This isn't a lightheaded. This is a little bit different but flavor wise occasional weird flavor but not a big flavor bomb for a San Andreas it's kind of surprising strength I would say medium full I don't know if I'd go as far as saying full strength overall I graded this a 94 based on the old curve and um, now this is a very good cigar very good smoking cigar I am glad that I got it thanks again to Ellis for sending it to me, sent me some good stuff there in that package, and uh, this is one of them. So just throwing a little heat on there to see if I can get just a little bit more out of it, otherwise I'm pretty much done with it. Yeah, it's only smoke coming out that way, not in very much, so it might be getting a little blocked up there. That's sort of one of the downsides of a punch cut that um, it plugs a little easier towards the end, but no big deal. It got a lot of time and a lot of enjoyment out of it, so it was pretty good. So 
Thanks for watching. Chris Stogie Palace once again with the Roma Craft Neanderthal. And uh, I will see you guys later.